Hey guys, my name is Scobie. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up bit notifications on your Twitch stream with OBS. On screen you can see an example of what to expect. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is signing up for Streamlabs. Links are always in the description down below. So you want to click login and then you're going to be asked to log in with either Twitch or YouTube. In this case, you're going to be using Twitch. And you just have to authorize if it's your first time signing into Streamlabs. Really easy to set up. Once you've signed up, you're going to be met with this page. And this is a Streamlabs dashboard. This will have a bunch of information about your stream, people who follow, donations, and a bunch of other cool stuff you can check out here. It's a really, really nice dashboard and it has some really helpful information. Once you're on this, we're going to be coming over to the widgets. And we're going to be going through the alert box. From here, we're going to be bringing our attention down here towards the middle. And we're going to be going to the bits section right here. Now here we have a bunch of different settings. I'm going to be going through a couple of these to explain how we use the bit system, how we can set up a couple of different variations, and how we can change a couple of different things. So we're going to be taking our attention to the main body here. We're going to be saying bits alerts. So in this case, we're going to have it enabled, and this is going to allow our bits to actually come up with alerts on screen. The second thing we're going to be able to look at is the layout, and we're going to be able to choose from the image on top of the text, the image below the text or the text to the right of the image and these are a couple different variants you can have so you can have a gif come up on screen or you can have your logo or whatever you want to come up when someone donates with bits we have the alert animation and you have a bunch of different options here preset inside streamlabs so you can choose whichever one you want for this i want to just leave it on the fade in and out in this instance but of course you can play around with this to your heart's content you do have an option here to play around with text to speech and what you can do is you can set this up by clicking enable here we can set up the minimum bits to read so if you want to put like a little bit of extra spam detection so that someone has to donate for example 150 bits and that's as easy to set up like that we have the voice down here below so we can set the voice to whatever language in this case i'm just going to leave it in english by default you have a spam security this can be a little bit of hit and miss but it really kind of depends on how much you want to like protect your stream you can set it to actually none at the bottom right here you can set it to very high i feel like high is a little bit awkward but low is kind of like a good happy medium this is a little bit of trial and error but if you feel like you're being spammed a lot you can also just increase the minimum number of bits so people actually have to donate more so they'll be less likely to do it to spam or whatever <laughs> i guess that could be an option i'm going to close down the text to speech here so underneath our text to speech we have our main body and this is going to be the most important things we can do to change the base idea of what's going to come up on screen when someone donates a bit so i recommend leaving this base bits alert to zero as we're going to be able to change some variants down below on how to change when a certain number is reached or if you want to go above a certain number we can edit that down below leave this bit on zero and we can change the rest of it later on of course if you want to set a base limit to just 100 you can do that but i recommend leaving this on zero and that's the best way to start with it so we can have our default message template here so the name in the brackets is going to be replaced by the username of the user who just gave you bits and the amount is going to be replaced by the amount of bits we can change the text animation here so if you want to set it from wiggle to rubber band there's a bunch of different options here in streamlabs thankfully so you can change all of that here Underneath this, we have an image that can play. Underneath that, we can have the GIF or image that'll pop up when you actually get a bit donation. You can change the media here, and thankfully, Streamlabs have a bunch of stock images. If you come over here to the right, you can choose the images, and they have a bunch of stock GIFs and stuff that you can choose from. So you can really easily change to whatever. In this case, I'm going to be choosing this Pikachu, clicking select, and your little GIF will come up whenever someone donates bits. You have the sound down here below. Once again, it's really easy. Just click change media. You have the stock images and sounds down here that you can change really quickly. In this case, I'm going to be leaving it alone you can change the sound volume here if you find that your sound is too loud you can change the alert duration and the alert text delay the alert text delay affects how long before the actual text comes on screen versus the image and the sound if you want to delay that you can play around with that here in this case i'm not really going to be looking at it but it's some nice cool effects that you can do to really customize your stream underneath this we have the bits message settings and the main thing we really need to associate ourselves with here is the allow twitch emotes here which you can enable if, if you have custom twitch emotes and also the font size and weight which you can also change your text color down here i'm going to be closing up the bits message settings underneath that we have our font settings and here we can actually edit the font that comes up on screen there's a bunch of different fonts to choose from i think they're all google fonts so if you want to just google google fonts i'll leave a link down below you can just look at the full list over there and then choose accordingly you can choose the font size the font weight the text color and the text highlight color in this case the text highlight color is going to refer to the user's name and the amount of bits they actually gave so in this case it's green by default but you can change it to any color you want i would recommend leaving this a different color because it can just bring like a tint and highlight to the actual person who donated bits and it's always good if it's like a nice standout color compared to the body of the text but this is up to you to play around with however you want and finally probably the most important thing we can do apart from the main body is the alert variations so by default there's variations for one a hundred a thousand five thousand and ten thousand and then i created a one down here for a million if you want to add a variation you can simply click add a variation down here 
But if you want to edit one of your variations, you can simply click edit on the right hand side. So in this case, I'm going to be showing you how to edit one and then adding a variation is exactly the same. You can just change some settings in there. So I'm going to be editing the number one. So in this instance, I'm going to be editing the number one and the name is by default. Of course, you can change this if you want. And then we have a condition down here below. Now the condition is going to let us do a couple things and we have a couple different options here. You can have conditions to be set randomly so that every other user who just donates any amount of bits will just get a random message. I tend to not do this. I think it's better to have levels of messages to pop up depending on the amount of bits. But of course, this is up to you to choose whatever you want. You can set the actual bits to be at least. So if you set the actual bits to be at least, you can set the minimum number here. Or if you set the bits to be exactly, you can also have it for just whenever someone donates exactly one bit, this message will pop up. In this case, I'm going to leave it to be at least. And then we can have the other variants down below to be a higher number. So in this case, it's going to be set to one. And as the next number is 100, any number between one and 100 will get this image. We have the actual message template, which is similar to what we have before. And this is going to edit this accordingly for the amount of bits the person gives. We also have a little image down here that you can change if you wish. But these are set to bit levels on the actual variance. So I recommend leaving these alone unless you have something special that you want to make up yourself. These actually add a nice level by default that you can change. And there's a bunch of other settings you can change down here with the volume. And it's basically the same as the other settings just combined into variance. For the most part, I'd recommend just coming down here and edit the actual levels down here because it's the best way to do it unless you want to set up a base level that people will only get like cool messages if they give a thousand bits for example but here's some nice settings you can play around with of course you can click save down here or if you want to delete all the variations you can simply click the delete button down here in this case i'm not going to be saving the settings i'm just going to be clicking cancel and you can tell that all the settings are here you can add some variations if you want to add more steps between say if you want to have a number for 500 or if you want to have a number for 20 whatever you want you can come in here play around with it till your heart's content and you can do some really really cool stuff on in here and it's just a really nice place to like edit and really like make your stream stand out to be really nice and cool but it's very easy to set up alert variations in this case once you've all your settings saved and you've everything set up over here on the actual streamlabs page we're ready to click save settings once your settings are saved, we're going to come back up to the top of the page right above our widgets. By opening this up, we're going to be copying this URL and we're going to be bringing it over to OBS and I'm going to be showing you how to set it up step by step. So once you have all that set up, we're going to be coming over to OBS and we're going to be changing some settings over here. So the first thing in my case, I'm going to be adding a new scene which has only one source, which is the Overwatch background image drop. You can change this around if you want, but for this instance, I'm just going to be doing this. If you want to add a new scene or source, simply click the plus down here. Once you have a new scene made or you're using the scene that you want to edit, we're going to be adding a new source which is going to be a browser source. So you want to click this browser source open and you can give it a name if you wish. I'm going to name it bits alert notification and I'm going to be clicking OK. And from here we're going to be replacing the URL with the URL we copied from Streamlabs and click OK. Now you may notice that this image will pop away and that's perfectly fine. From here we're going to be able to drag around our actual notification box and this is where our notification is going to be inside. In this case I'm going to leave it right here in the center and now you're going to be wondering how do I actually test this? How do I know if it works? Well if we head back over to Streamlabs on the top we can see there's a test bit notification. So what we want to do is you want to click test bit and then tab back into OBS really quickly and you will see that a sound will play and that your stream will pop up with the test notification that you have. Each time you use a test bit, it'll increment to a higher number. So it starts at one, then goes to 10, then goes to 100. So if I click test bit, I'm gonna show you what happens. This is a test bit. So as you can tell, the image came up and also the text to speech came up on screen also, which is really nice. As you can tell, it was 500. So if we go back in and do a one more test bit, You can see that it came up on screen with just one bit. It didn't do any text to speech because we set the text to speech to be to a certain limit. And you can change this around to your heart's content. Of course, you can disable text to speech if you wish, but there's a bunch of different settings you can do. And that's how you set up bit notifications for Twitch in OBS. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to leave my OBS playlist tutorial on the top of the description down below. And I'm also going to leave my PayPal link down below. If you want to support me in the channel, you can, of course, do that. There's no pressure if you can't. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.